Well, she's cold outside, but I know, and you're looking a little blue. I think we have the winter blues. I think we do too. Yeah, that post Christmas hangover. Yeah, it and, is. It and is. you know, it's to start out the new year. Need an aspirin. Need 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 a lot of things. Yeah, but, and a know. good winter's nap. And a good winter's nap. And if That's we don't right. fall asleep while we're doing this, then you consider yourself <sighs> lucky. Hello and welcome to your old news update. I'm Izzy Fitz. And I'm Bud Driscoll. Wake up, there, yeah, big I'm fella. Here. Let's shout out to our sponsors. Hey. Headley's Clothing, 1829 South 9th. This was not shirt by Headley's. Oh, was this made by Headley's? I believe so. Not made, but sold. Oh, sold by Headley's. And the Smoky Hill Museum, 211 West Iron. Uh huh, where they have all kinds of uh, historical tidbits for your pleasure. And we're going to top the headlines from yesteryear okay. on January 18th, 1987. Shane Hyman doesn't consider the more than five inches of snow that was dumped on Salina Friday and Saturday as just another one of those dirty tricks Mother Nature plays on those of us who live in the thermal underwear belt. Ooh. For Hyman, snow doesn't mean nasty driving conditions or slick streets. Mm. For the 17-year-old snow shovel for hire, snow means bucks. Hyman was out scooping snow off walks and drives as fast as it fell Saturday, and by the time it led up late in the afternoon. The strong backed entrepreneur had $30 in his pocket. See what happens when you're a self starter? Good for you, Mr. Shane. Yeah, let it snow. Yeah. Well, no, not really. <laughs> January 22nd, 1962. Berlin Wall, not the one in Berlin, but, but that's the name given by one Salina retail merchant to the street median proposed for South Santa Fe between Prescott and South. Oh. Where to protest this strip in force, said another. He wasn't that, happy, was he? No, I wasn't. Nope. That strip was similar to the one on Broadway, was discussed by the city commission late to, last Tuesday as a possible remedy for traffic congestion. See, that would prevent left turns into store parking lots on either side of Santa Fe's uh, 400 to 500 block. Merchants fear the strip will end your business. Well, it didn't because downtown's still here. And yeah, there's no strip or block or anything. No. So the Berlin Wall has fallen. That's right. Take mm. down this wall. That's right. That's well, right. Well, here's something that never gets old. No. <laughs> 75 years ago, January 8th, 1937, chicken thieves visited the R.I. Curry Farm, three miles north of Gypsum Saturday night, stole 51 chickens, according to reports filed Sunday with Sheriff U.S. McDonald. Mm. The report says that Curry lost 50 hens and one rooster, all of them being blood-tested buff rocks. What does that mean, blood-tested buff rocks? I don't know. Maybe uh, it must be a breed or something. I guess. Or Anybody variety. knows what a blood-tested buff rock is, let us know. Yeah, put it on Facebook, let us know. That's right. January 20th, 1912. Let's go back 100 years. Sigmund Stiefel who oh, I'm that. sure is rec you know, a relative of uh, the Stiefel that's on the Stiefel Theater marquee, mm -hmm. of the firm Stiefel Brothers of Salina, died at the Axtell Hospital in Newton at 7 o'clock last night. The news of Mr. Stiefel's death came as a surprise to his friends in Salina, for although it was known he was at the hospital taking treatment, it was not known that his condition was so dangerous. He was operated on about a year ago for appendicitis, and it was from the effects of this that it was necessary for him to return for a second operation. Complications. I know, appendicitis back in 100 years ago. Yep. Getcha. Mr. Yep. Stiefel was born in Germany 42 years ago and at an early age emigrated to the United States. He came almost immediately to Salina, arriving here 25 years ago. He was first connected with the firm of Rothschild Brothers and later with his brother Moses Stiefel. Mr. Stiefel was married 16 years ago to Minnie Bondi. Minnie and besides Bondi. his wife, who is still living, he leaves two children, Henrietta, age 11, and Frankel, age 7. And I'm sure we get to, you know, Milton somewhere down the line who... Hats off for Mr. Stiefel. Who uh, later, you know, brought the Stiefel Theater into fruition. So we can thank him for that. Read more about the way things used to be in the look back section of Monday's Salina Journal. Yeah, and maybe we'll be more lively next time. Let's hope. That's why well, you just have a great day, and we'll see you yesterday.